This job ad was spotted by a stomper and posted on citizen journalism website Stomp. The story got netizens here fired up. But this ad is not the only one with specifications which seem to discriminate against Singaporeans. Yeah, we should not specify、uh, nationality. It's more like who is more suitable for the job. I think it regardless of coming from which country. Why not employ Singaporean? A lot of people still out of job, especially the older people, those who are、uh, retrenched many years back. I'm、uh, not many years ah.、Uh, the recent financial crisis. Like my friend mentioned that even at、um, underwater world. Like there's the China lady giving out tickets, but yet she can't even speak English when it's a tourism place. So I guess I don't know. Maybe it's a bit too much.、Uh. The question on many Singaporeans' minds is, why not hire Singaporeans instead? It seems when firms here start showing a preference for foreign workers, older Singaporeans are the ones who bear the brunt of job cuts for locals. Yes, because the kind of job I I can do,、uh, I will do it for less salary, but still they prefer to. Pay a foreigner more and get it done by him because he's young and I'm old. Quite a lot, ah, a lot of my friends, ah,、uh, they were retrenched. Ah,、uh, after that, ah,、uh, when the economy better, the the company instead of getting them back, ah,、uh, they were asked to, ah,、uh, <laughs> lay off means lay off, lah. You know, the 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 company will prefer to employ foreigners、uh, to take over, lah. As even managers level, especially. You know. And in a competitive job market where most employers favor bilingual job seekers, non-Mandarin speakers are often squeezed out. That's what they tell me on the phone. Or sometimes in newspaper ads, they say they want people、uh, who are bilingual. That means they want people who can speak English and Mandarin. That's what they mean. So I cannot apply for the job. You require、uh, to be speak in, in Mandarin. And in in so disadvantage to us also. Kind of sad actually, because I can't even like get the job that I want. And then they need both bilingual Chinese and English. They ask for Mandarin. Last time I apply for job, they ask for me talk in the phone. Ah,、uh, interview already. Okay, can you can come, but you can know how to speak Chinese or Mandarin. Ah,、uh, so I can't get the job. So I must know Chinese. I don't know Chinese. I'm an Indian. How to get? I never. I didn't have work. You know. For how many years? So we are surviving. It's just a small pay, and we can't survive. You know, very difficult to survive. You know. We have to learn Mandarin now because China is the next superpower. You know. Are you learning Mandarin? I am not learning, but、uh, I need to learn because I also thinking that、uh, putting my son to learn Mandarin. Last year, foreigners made up a third of Singapore's 3.1 million strong workforce. Of these, 240,000 were S pass and employment pass holders, what is considered as skilled and highly skilled labor. There were 201,000 foreign domestic workers and 670,000 other work permit holders in Singapore, constituting unskilled labor.